So we're gonna be talking about poetry this entire time. We're gonna be like listening to some poems. We're gonna be reading some poems. Uh, we're gonna be writing some poems. So we came and we, we linked up with uh, Black Men Read and did a workshop uh, centered around poetry and spoken word. What are you guys just curious? What do you guys like really know about poetry, or anything? What do you like? What do you know about poetry? Any poetry? Today's workshop was themed around hands, the use of hands in language, and relationships, and how we deal with each other, and how those relationships can shape you into who you are. Um, all the things are true. Poetry can't rhyme. Doesn't have to. Poetry does talk about your feelings. Talks about like uh, it's all storytelling, but it's like storytelling in a very specific way that uses. He knows and understands the language. He can connect with them. And you can see in the workshop, he just really just connected and vibe with the students. You know a little bit about me, but I want to know more about you. So here's what's going to happen. Go ahead and grab a sheet of line paper. Black Men Read is a community organization purely focused on uh, improving literacy outcomes in black males. Uh, we work with the Henrico County Schools right now, uh, specifically Highland Springs. Our partnership sprung from a conversation just over a year ago. We're going to take a look at some poems, we're going to take a listen to a, a poem, and then we're going to do some writing. Cool? You know, kids are always a little reluctant at first when it comes to poetry. They're, you know, they're thinking it's going to be super boring. We're going to be reading Keats and Shakespeare. Her hands held me gently from the day I took my first breath. Her hands helped guide me as I took my first step. Her the idea is to kind of change that narrative for what poetry can look like. So that's the first task. Her hands are more beautiful than anything can be. Her hands are the reason I am me. Cool. That's Maggie Pittman. And then from there, it's just about kind of pulling in the interest. And so we talk about something that's very familiar to people, right? Family, friends, relationships, and, and how those things can, can affect our lives. Her hands sometimes had to discipline to help bend this young tree. What, is, what does that mean for you? Well, I was a bad child. So. <laughs> you were a bad child. It's got a lot of discipline, right? <laughs> and then we talk about the craft, right? The writing and, and how that shows up in the work and using metaphors and so on and so forth. His job hasn't recycled him because he is rusty but reliable, American-made, steel will, heart full of nuts and bolts. Something Rasco said uh, when he was working with the kids was that poetry helps contextualize the human experience. And um, our kids have, you know, have a lot of experiences and things to talk about and write about. Um, so sometimes they need that guidance and that format to help them express those things. For each finger, you're going to give me a moment, an important moment in your life. Something that shapes you. We want to open up the library and not just for books. We can help them explore themselves through other mediums and other ways. So if we can bring in people and have community partners that can help sponsor people even better um, and tie it together and give them a new outlet um, and show them that it's not just books here, that they can find themselves in lots of ways here at the library. How did that happen? Tell me about these moments. Tell me how they shaped you. We're just hoping that they get a, get a passion for writing, writing down their experiences and sharing it, and then also maybe looking for other writers who have written something that they can connect with. My thing is understanding that their words have power, their voice matters, and they all have a story to tell. And it's really important that these kids understand that art has a way of, of communicating something that sometimes academics can't. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Everybody thank you, Ron. Help you snap. Our guest speaker. Yes.